as Jan Newton of Newton Custom Interiors and today I'm going to give you five design tips for mixing fabric patterns. Tip number one for mixing fabric patterns is to use odd numbers. Just like with other design elements, using odd numbers works well with fabrics too. You want to have at least three fabrics and no more than five in one room. So the first fabric that you would like to have is a uh, bold print, a large print that has more than two colors in it. Your second fabric should be a smaller scale than the first fabric and a geometric or stripe or plaid would work well. The third fabric is a tone on tone which reads as a solid. Tip number two. Use two or three colors to work with when you're mixing the fabric patterns. There's several colors in our main fabric, uh, but the stripe that ha we have with it predominantly um, picks out the pink and the green and the white. So we've chosen this pink fabric to have as our accent color. We also could have chosen green instead and that would have worked well with the other two fabrics. Tip number three, don't mix formal and informal fabrics. All three of our fabrics here are fairly informal uh, linen type fabrics. If we add in this shinier, more formal fabric, it just does not fit in as well with the other fabrics. Tip number four, choose the same tone or intensity of color when you're mixing your fabrics. This green that we have here with the other two fabrics is a much more muted green, gray green than than the other fabrics. It just it does not work as well as our original apple green that we had with these fabrics. So you don't want to mix a muted pastel with a bright, vibrant jewel tone. Tip number five: vary the scale of your fabric patterns from large to small. As you can see with these two fabrics, they are both very large blue and white uh, pattern fabrics. And they just are fighting against each other. They don't work well together at all. But if we switch out one of them to this smaller scale stripe, that works much better with the large floral than the other large paisley did. To recap our five tips for mixing fabric patterns, uh, I'm going to do that with these fabrics here. We want to use odd numbers. That works best and we have five fabrics here. We have our main large scale fabric that has more than two or three colors. And then our second fabric is a smaller scale plaid. And then we have a tone on tone brown and a couple of other small prints too. Tip number two was pick two or three colors from our main fabric. And that is what we've done here. We've picked out the cream and the bluish green and the brown to accent. Uh, tip number three, we have not mixed formal and informal fabrics. These are all fairly informal fabrics. Tip number four, we um, did not mix the intensity or tone of the uh, colors in the fabrics. These are all muted tones. None of them are very bright, so that works well too. And tip number five, we varied the scale of the pattern in the fabrics. We have a large scale with our main fabric, 
and smaller scale with the plaid and the two checks and tone on tone.